Hello and welcome back to Divinity Original Sins 2, the definitive edition. My name is Saiken and we're playing on Honor Mode, uh, the hardest difficulty. I made it just a little bit more hard uh, by adding uh, the enemy overhaul, which levels all of the enemies to our level and then levels them even two levels up. We are about to enter the arena and... A few words of advice uh, for going into the arena. It is absolutely crucial if you're going into the arena that you're going first. So uh, initiative plays a big role uh, within the arena, which means uh, we're probably going to get rid of Skyshot and instead uh, use Peace of Mind, because Peace of Mind increases the Wits and Wits is initiative. We want uh, Sibyl to act early and we want everyone else to be prepared so you come to Good. let's step into the arena and give it a go we can see that the initiative trick has worked because both Losa and uh, Seville the ones with um, higher levels of wits can act first which is exactly what we uh, want to do um, and the main name of the game here is getting up onto the high ground. I usually tend to summon an oil inf uh, fused uh, incarnate because that gives us the option to immediately slow down the melees. Oh my gosh, Rex is evading. Uh. And he's invulnerable for one round. Great. Okay, well, this is going to be interesting. Anyways, let's position ourselves right here in the tar and end the turn with the Incarnate. Good, jumping up here. Taking watery arrows. Yep, but dealt a lot of damage. Okay, so Rex receives some <coughs> armor frost, which was predictable. Probably we're going to get the fossil strike. Yep, that was predictable as well. And we might even end up receiving some fire damage on top of it. Uh, surprisingly not. Well, I'm not going to complain about it. We are slowed, so Saiken needs to haste uh, himself, essentially countering the slow. Let's move up to here. Time to get rid of her physical armor. Yep, that worked quite well. And I'm going to save that one ability point for next round. I think we can, with Contagion, uh, could uh, turn all of this here into poison, which will benefit us a lot. <coughs> All right, he is in a tough spot. He's still slowed. Well, 
Wow. Takes for ages. So we can't simply ignore Rex. So might as well want to start damaging him. Gideon here will continue to be slow for now. <clears throat> and if we play our cards right, that won't change. This here improves everyone's magical resistance. Let's heal Saiken. And let's start planting down some totems. Verl has positioned herself pretty well down here. We counter being blind. And she's still out of uh, line of sight. Like I said, she positioned herself pretty well. Instead, what we can do is we can start getting rid of Rex. <clears throat> he deals a hell lot of damage, so not, it's not to be underestimated. Nice. Okay, so we are standing on poison. There is an advantage to that. Namely, all of his skills are cheaper. Problem is, he's blind and that makes it a little bit more difficult. Hmm. I was hoping we would have another clear mind scroll. Unfortunately, he has not memorized it. Uh, reminds, uh, reminds me how important it is to memorize important skills, um, specifically the ones that deal with crowd control. So in which case, What's the most clever thing to do? We definitely don't want to go down there. That hasn't cured blindness. <clears throat> Might as well simply heal up a little bit. Unfortunately, he started with 6 AP, so this is really a bummer. Yeah, I can't even use consumables. I could go for contamination plus ignition, but I don't think that that's worth it for now. I much rather would like to Crowd Control Rex <clears throat> and Gideon. But I think we're we're not going to do it this turn. Simple as that. We're blind and we can't change that. Alright, so Rex here can be crowd controlled now. <clears throat> uh, we might want to even make him a chicken or turn him into a chicken. 
I think that's the safest bet. Alright, Ethan will simply tank down here. In terms of preparation, let's make sure Saiken is gonna be fine. Let's also make sure that Seville is going to be fine. We will need both of them. And let's get some totems up. <clears throat> All right. So we do have two high priority targets. One, the enemy um, archer. Two, Alisa, the enemy mage. I think we're going to go for the archer first. Essentially using the knockdown arrow. And take away her next activity because we need to get uh, momentum uh, going into our direction all right luckily that worked out quite well <clears throat> now what I wanted to do here before we got interrupted is we wanted to slow him down one more time. And we need to probably now unload and select the target. I suggest Ver looks like a great target for us. All of the Pyro skills are incredibly cheap at the moment. So might as well start dealing damage to her. I like the idea of crippling her, which means she couldn't move. Same here. Yeah, let's take his movement away. Should have been... Oh, crippling uh, only works um, if he has no physical armor, but unfortunately he had physical armor. We could take him uh, take him out for one turn. I think that's not a bad idea. Hmm, what do we want to do with her? I mean, we could position her all the way back to here. It's probably not a bad idea. Might as well be the right timing to do that.
and let's make sure everyone here is tip top uh, healed up Sibyl shouldn't take too much damage she's in a really tough spot here Hmm. I really can't afford losing Seville. And the problem is the enemy archer deals a lot of damage. So we can't crowd control it. Perfect would be another knockdown arrow, but unfortunately they are very valuable and I already used one. Um, yeah, I think we're forced to go for another healing potion. This is going to poison her, and she's also burning, so that's the maximum amount of damage that we could de uh, dish out. Why is she regenerating? Oh, she received uh, the regeneration from her teammate. Okay, that makes sense. Leaving her entangled there isn't the worst idea. We can, in the meantime, deal with the others. Perfect. That actually was really good. We're currently blinded. So I want to be careful. Let's move over here for now and leave the two ability points open for next round. Also there is an ornate chest which if the combat is getting too easy might be able to loot. For now let's focus on winning first. All right, this guy here currently is uncontrolled. So let's chill him down. And we probably should also take his um armor off yeah this has taken his armor off
Wow, that was a good hit. That was a pretty good hit. Gotta congratulate uh, the enemy caster for it. Good, so Rex is almost down. There we go. Let's start getting rid of her physical armor as well and heal everyone. All right, those is letting us regain magical armor. She heals others, drinks a healing potion herself. And that's really it. How many more hit points does she have? Well, that's a few. I was hoping we would have almost gotten rid of uh, the enemy archer, but that is not the case. So this here should hit. Fortunately, it did not. This is not yet over. We're in a tough spot here. All right. Iban has no CC left, everything's on cooldown. Let's still continue making sure that we get her armor down. And dish out some damage over here. Gosh, that's close, damn. Gotta heal Saiken somehow. Time to deal with her. Can we disable her? No, we can't. But we can take away all of her armor. Which will allow us to disable her next turn.
All right, let's make sure that Saiken definitely survives. All right, that we he barely survived. Drinking a potion. Okay, let's first and foremost end her. Very nice. That was definitely worth it. Okay, who needs healing? Losis pretty hurt. Okay, we're fighting four against two now, so we should have that under control. Fortunately, both of them still have plenty of um, armor left over. Okay, here we go. Let's get her down. What would be a good place for Rex to stay i think back here is is decent good no one needs healing let's get a totem out this will take uh, take away the magical resistance. There we go, finally. We're giving even haste. His job after we kill her is going to be to keep Rex under control and maybe loot uh, some of uh, the crates. You know what? Let's move over here. And we're starting to loot the crates. Rick's going to be put to sleep. That loot was rather bad. I was expecting way more. Good. Um, everyone gets uh, soothing cold again, and 
The lights will also buff up the incarnate with power infusion. Perfect. We're down to one, uh, down to one enemy. And that one enemy can be slowed. And entangled. Good. Well, that was a pretty bad loot. Chests can include way more than that. Okay, so we could move all the way over to here. Then jump up here. And wait for Rex until he uh, takes even more damage. Can we please kill him? There we go, finally. So, we got some unfortunately non-leveled items. Uh, plus one scoundrel is good. I think we're going to go with that. This isn't bad either. Mm, but we do have uh, the one jacket uh, mm, that gives us huntsmanship. So I think we're going to go with leadership in this case then. Yeah, we have the Huntsman Jacket. Good. Leadership increases the summoning as well as all of uh, the uh, totems just for a little bit. And now that we're the champion of the arena, we have a few options such as getting rid of our collar. And the collar uh, removal will lead to us be forced to, to basically explore and go into the fort. Tired of the viewing here yet? If Antipsis think you're the chair, ain't ya? You could well. She looks around. It would mean the one. You may be the one to save us all. Okay. There's only one thing to do. What a privilege! She manipulates the ring. There we go. We are free of our color. An extra slot, but it also means we got to be very careful 
because all of the guards now perceive us as a killer on site. Now, in order to deal with the guards at uh, the entrance, I recommend the following tactic. We're going to use, again, our levitation, uh, our levitation gloves, and we're going to essentially stand up here, get everyone up here. Before we fight them though, there is an extra room of goodies right behind this door. Plus some experience. So a few things to note uh, with the rooms here. Oops. Let's destroy all of the crates. So, there is one more trick to know. Which is basically going here and removing this wall to get uh, behind and do another ornate chest. In this case we got ourselves a nice little copper ring. Nothing to be too excited about but might as well equip it for some extra protection. There's the Raining Blood, which is a hybrid skill between Necromancy and Hydrosophy. We can craft those later ourselves when we got ample spare tombs. Good, and this should really be it um, here. We looted everything. Um, next up, we're going to deal with these four guards here, plus the guard hounds. Um, which is going to be the start for the invasion into the castle. Um, that's going to be interesting because uh, I needed to try a few of the castle fights multiple times when I prepared this run, just simply because they were really, really difficult. Um, I'll show you in detail how it's done uh, um, uh, once uh, we invade the castle. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. As always, uh, leave a comment or a like down below and see you in the next run. Bye bye.